Hi oh, folks and good evening and uh, welcome. Uh, right, what we've got on the bench tonight is a little Sanyo uh, radio cassette ghetto blaster boombox. Call it what you call it what you like. And this is from the pan me, a bit of a sniffle, I think. Ugh. This is from the 1980s. So let's plug it in and do an overview. I got this at the car boot sale last week. So let's have a go and see what we've got to work with. Right. Needs a bloody good clean. I only gave, uh, what did I give? I think I gave uh, five or some of for it. Right, well, the aerial feels a bit crusty, but it'll polish up, it's just crap. Uh, and the aerial is complete, so we'll leave that up for a minute. The aerial is complete. Uh, uh, tape one. Well, it switches on, but does it do anything? No, nope. so it's a belt. Try tape two. Nothing. Are separate motors in this anyway? You can tell by the sound of them. Anyway, so that's the tape. So let's move to the radio. Uh, this actually has separate balance control, this actually has balance control on it, uh, because they're not, it does, it has balance control on it, so let's set them to the centre. So let's set the... Someone's had the knob off this. Hang on a minute. Someone's had the knobs off this. I think they have anyway. Well, maybe not. Because... That's better. Because the inner knob should be set to set to the set so it goes to the centre, and the outer knob should be set. Let's turn the volume all the way down. There we go. So the outer knob should be set there. So now when I set the in a knob to the centre. Which is fucking easier said than done. say it's easier said than done. I think there should be some sort of spacer in between them two. The uh, yeah, the ba the balance shouldn't move when you turn the volume up. That's a shit design. Anyway, 
Right, classic versus mix when it comes to Beyonce. Check out the full track listing on the BBC Sounds app, on the radio. Start up step one. Oh, hang on. So many Beyonce classics. You need like a full no, it's not a balance knob. What it is, it allows you to adjust the volume independently. So we'll turn that one down. Then we can turn that one up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's in the middle now. To Jay Z, fan Jane and Miles, Tony driving back to Puddle Town. The FM works. Shortwave. Non, la conception d'un réseau sexy. Shortwave. Two stations there. Well, short waves fair, fairly lively on it. Medium wave. There's Radio New Delhi or Kebab. Radio Kebab. Don't know what that station is, but there's not usually anything up this end. Oh no, that's Radio New Delhi. Radio Kebab. Long wave. Put picks up per uh, RTE. Identify with their cause was no four. Something down the bottom end of the long wave there, not quite getting it, but there's something there. So My opinions on the radio, yeah, I'd have to uh, say it's very good. So let's have a look at these tape decks. And see what we can do about the... See if we've got belts to fit them.
for those of you that are interested, move that over there a bit, there we go. For those of you that are interested, the model number of this is the M-W1L. Uh, Sanyo Radio Cassette Recorder, made in Singapore. Runs on five D-cell batteries, I believe. No, but no screws in the battery compartment, it's nice to see. Storage for the power cable. That's nice to see. I think for that, I think they had, I think they had, I think they had uh, uh, other plans for that. But yeah, storage for the power cable. That's what that would be for. Uh, put your power cable in there and put your plug in there. That, you know. But the thing is, in that our plugs never fit in anything because our plugs are too big. So our plug wouldn't fit in there. I don't think we'll try it and see. Uh, see if our see if our UK spec plug will actually fit in there which I very much doubt no you wouldn't get the battery compartment back on our plugs never fit in anything uh, they don't cater for uh, the UK plug I'm afraid but that's not a great problem. It would be nice if they did. I mean, let's face it, you know, our plug is the safest one on the planet. So we'll start by I'm going to lay it down to do it and the reason why is it might be easier. So What I used to hate about these things was getting the damn screws out of them. Now believe it or not, the screws all the way out. They won't lift out. And when they yeah, when I tip the when I, when I tip the base upside down, it would, right, when I put it upside down, they'll all fall out all over the floor. Well, I'll get me magnet. Oh. I'll get me magnet. Oh, and I'll have a go at lifting them out with my magnet. Screw feels as though it's, it's coming. I don't think this has ever had batteries in the contacts are super clean. right in the middle in the bottom now, I wonder what that's for. If the back doesn't come off that'll be a very good indicator won't it? Oh one lifted out. One lifted out. Let's find somewhere to put the fucking thing. Let's drop it in there. in there where those screws are.
and that screw there will have to come out I think. Seem to be coming up any further. That one is. Oh, here. Got one in the middle. No, we haven't. Mm. Well, let's see if the back will lift off. I've got a feeling we're going to have to remove this one here, so there's one there now. Nice of them, that in it. Hide one right there. That might be for the transformer or something. I'll leave that as it is. I've got a feeling it comes off from the front there. Pull the knobs off in case I need them off. You always get one, don't you? Fucking hell. You always get one that doesn't want a fucking budge. So it's fucking Christmas. There we are. Right. Now I'm not sure whether this comes off from the front or from the back. I've never taken one of this model apart before, so it comes off from Well there's one of the screws. Yeah, the yeah, it comes off and leaves everything behind. Needs a good wash anyway. And that one that was I said was tight. I'm not, I'm not going any further. But that one there doesn't want to come out, so what I'll do is give a hand. Put the screwdriver back in. Just, just ease the front forward. Which is easier said than done, so I'll do I'll get a tool in it. There we are. Needed a bit of persuasion. There's the screw. Right. Now this. The handle down. Are we done all the way on here? Top here. Well, that one's come out, so we've got them all out. We've got all the ones out we can see. So, 
That middle one there's out. So by rights. This thing should come apart. Yeah, there's two motors in it. This should come apart and leave the this should come apart. I've got a feeling it should lift up. See if it leaves us off here. I don't want to break anything. See if it leaves us off. There's little hooks there. Let's see if it leaves us off. Yeah. Well, it's fucking supposed to, but it will. That's quite how Sandy would expect you to get it apart, but yeah, the old back there so it doesn't get damaged. Still doesn't want to fucking lift off. Don't tell me this is going to be a fucking pain. It's not a screw in the middle of it there, is it? I know on Toshiba's they have a fucking screw in the middle of them. This one hasn't. Oh, I've not broken anything, it's just a tool slipping. Right. There's no more fucking screws in it, so what the fuck's holding that? fine tuning control. All the fucking screws are out. Yeah, they're all out. And there's no hidden ones. Yeah, they're all out. There's nothing hidden. So Unless you the fuck are you supposed to get into this fucking thing? Ah Sneaky bastards. Fucking dirty tricks, I hate shit like that. There we go. Right. They made these plug on or they wire wrapped? Fucking assholes. The wire wrapped. Right. So. We don't need to take the speakers off anyway. We can work out that, I think. Rollers look nice. Capstans feel nice and free. Rollers look nice and rubbery. Mechanisms are plastic. What can you expect? Well, friends, the Japanese. Oh.
Love the plastic stone in the japs. And we've got something loose in here. Oh no, we haven't. No, we haven't. Got well, something loose. That's the thing for the record switch. Comes from the, so comes from the record deck, which is this one. In all honesty, in all honesty, this is probably rubbish. But do take one deck out at a time. If we can, might have taken fucking both out. But no, I can't see anything that's plugged in. It looks like it's all soldered. Which is a bit of a bummer. Have to pull you up there, Sanyo. Uh, and that, having the speakers wire wrapped in, that's a bit of a pain in the ass. Are they wire wrapped or soldered? Wire wrapped. It'll take the tuning dial off. Gives a screw to the mechanisms. And the screws for the mechanism for the tuning to go through to hold the tuning dial in are longer. So we'll keep that in mind. And the dial string runs through and under. Uh, I'm hoping I can get this out. Yeah, just lift the dial up. Unlock this wire from there. Unlock that from there. Unlock that from there. Then we've got that there so I'll bring these down from under there and they've fucking up the fucking wire through there fucking lousy bastards and the motor is there and there's our problem there's our problem There's our problem. The belt has... It's got mould on it. Ooh. Right, there we are. It's got mould on that. One thing, that, there's one good thing about it. Uh, I don't even know how the belt threads. How it feeds. Ain't got a fucking clue. Now let's go over there, go up here, find my belts. Oh, my knee. Don't know what's happened to my fucking knee. But it's fucking sore. Right, let's find my belts. Ain't got a fucking clue. Right, my belts. in one of these fucking trays could be fucking any of them that was not one no no they are in one of these there they are The only belts I've got are them cheap fucking Chinese fucking shitty things. And... But they're no good, they're flat belts. So the only belts I've got really are them fucking Chinese things. Uh, cheap, yeah, cheap Chinese shitty things. And... That feels like a good original. From something actually. Now... Let's turn 
take this plate off here. I'm going to lift it just see if I can get the just see if I can get the belt under that. Yeah, you can. There's clear. There's just enough clearance. Where's that fucking belt gone? I just had there. It is. Right. So basically, that's that's a good original belt that off something. I'm not sure how you root the belt. Does it go? I'll soon find out. Well, it doesn't go like that. Might not even fucking go through there like that. Might just go over like that. I don't fucking know. Yeah, it goes over like that. And then just go like that. So we find out. Let's plug it in. Let's get the plug. Plug it in. Let's see if the mechanism runs. Yeah, them screws there are for holding, just holding wire clamps, they're just wire clamps really. Right, so basically we don't have to worry too much, there's not a lot of fucking metal in this thing. Right. Right, so, let's press play. Press forward, or rewind. motor's a bit noisy isn't it but that, that's how the belt's going there that's the right way around that fucking motor's a bit noisy so what we'll do we'll give that motor a bit of a drink oh, try to anyway can't get into the back of it so try and get a bit of oil down but not on the pulley there we go and it's gone on the pulley fucking hell has it gone on the pulley yeah it has Get one of these, turn it on. Actually, it's that fucking motor there that's not easy. So, why is it fucking both of them running? Now they're both on. Oh. Yeah, it's that fucker there that's noisy. That one there's pretty quiet. Let's just clean the fucking. That's it. Right, let's put my belt back on. Right, let's get me, if I can find it, my talking tape. There we go. Let's see how it sounds. It's all sealed this pretty much, so I don't have to worry too much. See, that's quiet, that one. See, the other one's fucking noisy. 
Uh, so pop that out there. Try and keep the fucking turn that off for a second. Oops. I'll tell you what, I'll put the fucking mechanism back in for a minute, I might as well. I was just tighten that screw up at the back. There we are. Let's just, just pop the mechanism back in. If I can fucking get it back in. <laughs> You ever heard the phrase, easier said than done? Now this came out of here and it offered very little resistance in coming out. Now, I had no trouble at all getting this fucker out. Right, let's... Hmm. Why did he do that? It goes back that way. That's it. Make sure I don't knock any wires off anywhere. That goes back down there. That just pushes. Place. Make sure we don't knock the fucking string off for the radio. Don't have to, to restring the pumping thing as well. There we are. So let's put that back in there for a minute. I'll have to come back out that thing. Right, I don't know where the dial's gone, but there it is. There we go. Right, let's get our talking tape. Rewind the tape. Play. Rewind. Tape kind of works. The belt's pretty okay on that, so I'd have to replace that. Let's turn the volume down a bit. family of her own, she rented a bed sit in a flat quite near the centre of town to save on bus fares. At night, after the store closed, she sat at her lonely window and read, or looked down at the people walking on the street below, to a poor, poor amuse work. herself. All the other moulds work, that's working fine that one. So what we'll do now, We'll find the belt for the other side. I'll put the screws back in that side once I've done this side, do both sides first. Let's fish that fucking thing out. Alright. There we go. 
unsafe to just pull the plug out. No. Oh, hang on. Because you've got the you've got the transformer there. So Don't be catching my hand there because that's I mean the mains is insulated there but that's the secondary. Nothing coming through that but even so. Only about nine volts coming through that. So now we'll lift this one upside down. And there we have the same thing. Look at the belt's got mould on it folks. Hey nice. Well, at least they're not turned to guns, they've just got mouldy and fucking disintegrated. At least they're not covering my fingers in guns. Right, let's find another decent sized belt. Hopefully a decent quality one as well. Uh, that's one of them cheap fucking Chinese ones, I think that's too big for a fucker anyway. Uh, might be a tad too big. It's not, but I'd like one a bit. I like it a bit tighter. Yeah, we've got one here. That's too thick. Uh, we've got down here the darkest recesses of the belt, uh, darkest recesses of the fucking belt tub, see ideally I'd like to find a good original because there is some good original belts in here as well and that's what I'd ideally like to put on, like that one, so we're going to see if that fucker will fit. I think that might be, that's a fucking cheap Chinese one and all. See the difference is, is the elasticity, that's got too much fucking give. Whereas that one hasn't, and that's the difference. And I think this one will fit. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, that should be okay. So what we'll do, we'll put the mech back in and we'll see how she sounds. Uh, if she sounds a bit slow, it's not a problem. We can adjust her by uh, turning that. Uh, right, so what we'll do, we'll pop. Oops, there we go. Pop the mechanism back in. Rest it on there for a minute. Let's pop the plug in. Where did I put silly bitch? Where the fuck did I put silly bitch? Just had her in my hand. There she is. Right, let's put silly bitch on. This motor might be a bit quiet now. It's got some tension on it as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Working well. Well, no. Was that a snowflake drifting across the glow from the headlights? Oh, let it be snow. Once I'm home, Bryony and David will love it. Even without snow, however, she would still yeah. try, as always, to make this the very best Christmas ever. It had to be better than that. Right, so what we'll do now, we'll, yeah, the speed's bang on. She always sounds like that. So, what we'll do now, we'll clean the tape transport.
clean the tape transport and then we're done. We can put it back together. Alright. So what we'll do, we'll press play and we'll clean the roller. The best way in my opinion of cleaning the roller and clean the capstan. There we are. That was just a bit of the shit coming off the fucking pad that was stuck on the roller. In my opinion, the best way of cleaning the roller is having the mechanism running and the roller turning. Alright, let's clean the head. came off that. Those works. Right, let's put the screws in that one. Let's put these belts away first. So we don't end up with a load of belts all over the place. end up all over the fucking floor and everything so that's now there we are so put the belts on that table there and we can put this mechanism let's turn the plug off put this mechanism back in the other one can go back in as well I'll clean the transport on the other one in a second Yeah, let's just put, put, just put the screws in. You only want them. You only want them around about snug. Don't need to go wild. Swing on them. Don't put them all in tight at first. Put them in so that everything's nice and level and then once all the screws are level and straight <clears throat> and everything's as it should be. Don't forget the radio dial. Make sure all the wires there's no obstructions. Make sure everything that you pull out goes back. Where it came. That's it. Alright, that's that. And you don't want to be getting fucking oh shit. Get it by here, come. I mean you can't always guarantee that you've got the screw in the right position. There we are. We'll tighten that up in a minute. Make sure that everything goes into place. There is a degree of adjustment, not putting that fucking thing back in. There is a degree of adjustment on these, well, on that all there there is, but once this is
that's it. Jiggle it so that it drops in. Don't tighten everything up yet. As you know, see it's all still loose. We want it loose for a minute. There's a bit of adjustment on that side, on that one there as well. We want to make sure the mechanism is absolutely square to the rest of the machine. I've got a feeling there will be, yeah. Whoops. That's not straight. It is now. So to give it a jiggle. I still won't tighten it fully for a minute. Because I want to make sure that the radio dial is in position. We can do that now by lifting this up and just having a quick peek. Just to make sure. In. Yeah. Mm, not quite. I would say that's supposed to go down a bit further. Right. Well, as long as the fucking dial makes the fucking journey, which it does, the pointer makes the journey. It's that's good enough. Make sure. I mean, if you're gonna do, you may as well have it right. Well, that needs to go under there, to be honest. Right, so pull that screw back out. Can do a job, do it properly at least. And that should tuck under there. Uh, I'll slacken that one off. That should do it. We just need a bit of clearance. supposed to go under there, I'm certain of it. Yeah. Maybe not. Well, that's it. That's it. That's correct. I did want to clean the front, but I'll clean it with it on the machine. <clears throat> All right. This was just bought for a bit of fun, a bit of a project. Remember, when you do these screws up, make sure you do them. I mean, that fucking tape transport's fucking spotless, but I'll still clean it. So. Been looked after this, I suppose, to a point. It's not mega dirty. Most of the radio cassettes and stuff I come across are usually fucking disgusting. And that has to be fucking. The screw goes in there as well. And I'm one short, so. Must have been missing. Because every screw I took out and put back. That 
another one to fucking tighten up. Right, are we tight there? Yeah, not there though. That one doesn't want to tighten. Yeah, not that it matters. Won't go anywhere. Now let's see if we really are screwing this. In. I think I'm not sure. I can't. I know none have rolled off. I've not lost any. That is for sure. So it must have been missing. But that's no great problem because I've got a couple of spares somewhere. That's no great problem, is it? in the bottom of here. A little silver one in the bottom of here that will do that. There's one. There's one. Just need the small one just to go in there. I don't know where it went, must have been missing. Oh no, it's too fucking small. Oh no. Yeah. Too small, that'll pop out. Not enough. I'll find one in a. I'll find one in a second. This one here has to be tight. Do like the German says, good and tight. Just make sure the rest are done. Yeah. 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 yeah, we're all done. Right, just clean that transport. On the first one. No, no dirt at all, and there's Fuck all coming off there, there's now on the pinch roller, it's absolutely spotless. And when I say spotless, I mean spotless. Right, so, put the IPA away. After I'm finished with it, it'll probably never get cleaned again in its life. In fact, this is probably the best it'll ever get. Make sure all the wires are out of the way, no obstructions, no we good. Now that was clever. That was very clever, wasn't it? Never mind. I'll find that fucker in a minute. I think I've dropped at least one screw there. Never mind. Can't fucking see it. Someone didn't drop a screw on this foot on this fucking floor. You've seen the last of it. Anyway, never mind. Right. Now let's. All this shits on the outside. I'll clean it before it goes together. Anyway. Which is in the middle. There we are. There we are. There we are. All right, well, we're on, but we're not on correctly. So, uh, that side's on. I hate, uh, that's what I don't like about these fucking things. I mean, fucking fight with the fucking things to put them back together. There we are. Right, so what we'll do now, we'll uh, get the detergent and give it a test clean. 
I've got my soldering iron on, I'll turn that off, I don't need that on. Give it a test clean, just to see. Make sure that shit's on the outside. Because then if it's on the inside, I'll pull it apart and I'll give the front a good fucking wash. So. Let's give that a wipe. Yeah, it's on the outside, but all right. Right, before I put the screws in, I want to just, whoops. I have got a clean cloth somewhere. There's one. There's a cloth that's a bit cleaner. And I'm hoping all this shit comes off because it's fucking disgustingly bad this. It's I think a lot of it's due to the it's had some on it this in the past. Because all oh, this is not coming off. What I might do at some point the, the actual paint's coming off. What I might do at some point as far as uh yeah what I might do, I might actually repaint this shit now, but do it black. I might redo this or something because there we go. I'm not going to clean that. Right, that ain't going to come up. Now let's pop the knobs back on. First of all, we want the two little screws. They go in the top, and I don't think I've got them fucking. I think they, think they just became a casualty of the floor. Yeah, they did. The two little screw cut or some screws that went in there. They just became a casualty of the floor. It was there for something else then. Yeah, they just became a casualty of the floor. So we've seen the end of those. Not that we need them. But would have been nice not to lose them in the first place, wouldn't it, folks? Oh shit happens, I suppose. And they're the ones out of the back. Yeah, so them two little countersunk ones became a fucking victim. Casualty of the floor. I'll have a look actually, see if I can find them in a bit. In fact, I'll have a quick look now. See if we can find them. Well, there's one of the fucking longer screws. I don't think we're finding them. Strum around with my feet. Because they will be down there somewhere. Ow! That weren't one, but. Don't know what that was, but it weren't one of those screws. A bit of wire or something like that, I feel of it. I don't know what that is. Alright, never mind. Never mind. <coughs> <coughs> Let's put the fucking knobs back on. Right, put the knobs on. I always lose fucking screws. I mean, they'll turn up when they do, I'll put them back in. If they turn up. There we go. Put them on the right way. 
so they point the right way when you adjust them there we go get our tape with silly bitch where silly bitch there she is right you're going upside down on these Had to be better than that fateful, unforgettable one so long ago. Elaine had been 16. She'd left school with no qualifications and had started her first job as an assistant in a large department store. Having been brought up in a home. I didn't check the record, but, uh, make sure that was in place, did I? So, what we'll do, we'll press. The button down. Yeah. Well, I say, yeah. Got a fucking blank tape somewhere. Got that much shit knocking about it. There's one. I've had the tabs pushed out of that one. No good with the tabs punched out. That's that fucking blank tape I was fucking using the other day. I know what I'll do. I'll hold that down just slightly just to get it past that. And I've got another silly bit of tape anyway. Says the label, no. shiny, red. We're not in position on the record switch. Bells and tip top. And this is why you should always check. We're not in position on the record switch. That's why you should always check before you put the screws in. <clears throat> so let's get the top back off again and have a look. That's why you should always check, folks. Make sure that. Right, let's have a look. I don't understand why it's not fucking in, but it isn't because. Oh, that's why. That's why we're on the wrong side of it. I might get away with just lifting one side of the mech up and pushing the finger over. We're just on the wrong side of the switch, that's all. It's not a great problem. Just slacken this side off. It won't break anything. Let's try and create a bit of play. So that we can just See that should just give us enough to just move that to there and just check the switch. That's it. That's all we needed. But that's why you should never screw anything together until you've checked absolutely everything. Just think if that was a customer's. <laughs> and you sent it back. You sent it out like that. That's why we check everything here at uh, Vintage Electronics Repair. Everything gets checked. 
because even I make mistakes. I'm not like, I'm not perfect. I mean, I'm not. I make mistakes. I blow things up on occasions. I get electric shocks once in a while. I forget to put record switches back into position. You know, but I always double check my work and because I double check and because I don't screw things together straight away. You know, I'm usually covered. Usually got it sorted. There we are. back on now I don't need to check it this time because I know the record switch will work because I've just fucking done it but, you know go around it and check it all again now now when I press record this time I don't need to put silly bitch in There we go. Yeah. When you're uh, taught, the light flashes on record. So we know that it's recording now. So we don't have to put silly bitch in. Now where is silly bitch? Silly bitch, come here. Try her in, in tape two. It's back to bed. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the poems and stories. No, I haven't. That's rewind, let's fast forward. Hang on. Tape one dubbing, tape two. I thought I'd knock the belt off, I haven't. I'm not moving. Oh. <laughs> What's the matter with that? That's not even fucking catch it. Oh yeah, it is. Going all the way to the yeah. Man, they had a bit of an issue with this tape the other night, didn't they? That Waltham. I was contented. There we are. Hey, woman, content with the thought of middle age. Yeah. Smiling to herself, she turned to close. That's the tape. Re rewind. That's the tape. That this tape's getting a bit fucked. We've got another one in there. On Earth. And now a oh. story from a favourite My Weekly writer, Eileen Ramsey. Merry Christmas, Sean Webster. There we are. Both decks work correctly. And no wobbling on it, which is good. They don't wobble. That's what we like to see. Alright, put these so they both line up. Turn the volume down. And I should be able to just pop them both straight on at the same time. There we are. Yeah. Right. didn't do bad tonight we only lost two screws put the battery compartment back on because that doesn't cover back on because there's nothing goes in there As a fine tune of this on the radio, you know, it's uh, 
Well, we've already heard the radio, haven't we? And we, you know, we know we like that. It's got good radio on it. I got this from the car boot sale last week. I told you, didn't I? Yeah. Cost me a fiver. It says 12 watts here, it doesn't mean 12 watts output. It means it's, it means it takes 12 watts out of your electric meter to run it. A lot of people get confused with that. They think because it says fucking 200 watts on the back here, they, they think it means 200 watts output. And it doesn't. It means that's how much it consumes. Out of your meter. Not tighten up very well, but we're in. Right, well, we're all together. We're all back together, apart from them two screws I lost out the top. Anyway, let's go for the radio again. Turn the plug on. I need a brew as well. Well, I fine tuned or something. Yeah, it does. That stereo mono. I think it was a, a nice step to show these coats. It's very hard. I thought that was, I thought that was shortwave. It's not. It was AM.
I'll tell you what folks, the shortwave's lively on it. It's not bad. Short way is lively. That tune, that that uh, trim, that fine tuner only seems to work on AM. That station's right at the bottom of the band and it struggles to come in. This is bringing it in lovely. And that one. Doors, you know, we get the pilot on the Not real. Well, they like stuff. I So you can spend less time running your home and more time enjoying. Because we're about to hear the opening bars of an opera commissioned by the Medici family 400 years ago. And it also happens to be the first opera written by a woman. The composer was Francesca Caccini. And by the time she wrote that opera, which ended with a balletto a cavallo, yes, dancing horses, she, like Anushka, like Clara, the fucking cow was stuck now. Now. I'm not I'm doing all that to get that out. For many years. It all began, yes, you've guessed it, with an ambitious father. In Francesca's case, Giulio Caccini. There we are. The composer himself and a man who knew exactly what to do with his talented daughter and her stunning voice. A voice that was That's, that's a classic FM. See if it gets smooth. Iceland.co.uk I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do. Goodbye. I'm the only one that's happened to you. Don't let them get away with it. That, that smooth, it gets smooth on here. Lovely. I mean, this is a really good radio on this. For what it is. If it was business, with family, or part of a package deal, you could be owed compensation, even if the airline has already rejected your claim. Make your claim today. Visit 747claims.com or call 100% free on 08000 747 747. <laughs> Right, now see folks, apart from a clean up, I might do something about the colour because it's a bit crappy, it's had something on it and the paint's a bit worn and stuff, so I might 
I don't know, I might do something wild with it, you know, like, I don't know. Uh, you know, I might, I, might, I might clean it, give it a bit of a clean up and, uh, you know, do it some funky colour. You know, uh, if you've got any suggestions, let me know. And don't say, like, put it in the bin and shit like that, I'll just ignore that. <laughs> with the cont I'll treat it with the contempt it deserves. You know, but, uh, yeah, I'm thinking of uh, maybe... Uh, you know, dare I use the word customising? Uh, do something, something interesting with it because it, it's not a value. It's not a high value thing. It's, you know, not something that's really gonna. You know, I mean, it doesn't look that bad now. I wiped it, but you know, yeah. Uh, I think at the end of the day, for some, for a radio, uh, this has got quite. What well, this has actually got. This is this has actually got one of the best boombox radios in it I've ever heard. I mean, because I mean anything that can pick up smooth FM in here with any degree of clarity. I mean, in all honesty, I did have to switch. I did have to flick the switch to mono for to take out the stereo indicator. But you know, I have a lot of trouble even with that big long aerial that I prop up up, up there. I have a lot of trouble getting smooth in here. Not a lot of radios receive it. Uh, even with decent aerials and this thing, it just does it. It's you know, still, still you know, it's not now because the aerials down. Actually, it's not bad. It's not bad. Let's turn that down. There we go. Anyway, folks, uh, that that's the Sanyo radio cassette. Uh, boombox, ghetto blaster, call it what you want. You can even call it Arthur if you like, I don't care. Anyway, uh, that's uh, the belts done. Both mechanisms now work as they should. I did manage to lose two screws, so there's nothing new there. And thank you very much for watching. And more to come later. Bye for now. Yeah, just one final thing. I need a drink. My throat's as dry as a nun's crotch. Bye, folks. <laughs>